you like to introduce yourself? Thank you. Uh, my name is Michael Sluis and I'm the Community Programs Manager at the Black Dog Institute. And you're going to talk about a particular program, aren't you? That's right. There are a few different um, uh, parts of the Institute. Um, we've got some pictures up there on the screen. Um, the, uh, the main area that we're focusing on is the role that exercise plays in the maintenance of positive mood. Now, the Institute has uh, a research arm, uh, and a lot of the research is supporting the notion that um, exercise is able to uh, uh, diminish the, some of the symptoms of depression and can be uh, an effective treatment or be a part of an effective treatment plan for people who are experiencing the symptoms of depression. We also have a clinic where we see patients, and we, when we do uh, plans and things, we also do incorporate um, the exercise dimension into those. You've got such good slides. Let's turn sideways so you can see them. If you want to just come back a bit, and, and then we'll talk about what you're showing people. So first of all, what do you want this dog to tell us? Yeah, I mean, I feel inspired by that dog. Does anyone else tell <laughs> So what, what, what's, what's, what's this? Well, first of all, apologies for Nike for kind of co-opting their uh, little brand thing. The Exercise Your Mood is a, a slogan or a, um, I guess a brand that we've created. Um, the, the idea is it, it, it's no good if the research tells us something and no one else figures it out. So what we're trying to do is to change attitudes in the community and make people more aware of the importance of physical activity and maintaining positive mood. Uh, and I've got some, some more slides up here, so maybe we should move through them. Yeah, let's just go through them. They're good. Let's do it. Oh, that's not so good. <laughs> not so good. So, we, so the first thing that we the first thing that we did was we thought that you know this is really important. Let's tell health professionals. Now we provide fully accredited training to health professionals, GPs, and psychologists. Sometimes they just do it for the points, as we heard earlier. But um, we do incorporate exercise into the training that we now provide uh, around the building treatment plan plans for patients experiencing depression. So they're all available on our website. And so if there are any health professionals that are interested, log into our website, check them out. Uh, we don't just say lose weight or exercise more. We actually provide some cognitive frameworks and things for people to use. Think of the points as a kind of lucky dog prize. I'm going to do it for you just, just to keep the speed going. How many have you got? Tell us about building resilience. So I think that's our second last slide, so we've, uh, we've moved through quite quickly. Well. <laughs> So the slide before was the fact sheets, we've got fact sheets for consumers on our website. Um, Exercise Your Move Week is on every September. Um, we've had some really great support from um, some very high profile sporting people, so we've been very lucky there. We've had politicians getting on board and saying all the right things. What we need now is for partner organisations to come on board and do activities in September uh, that are in support of Exercise Your Move Week to really get the word out there and help people understand the, the role that exercise plays. We also uh, conduct um, resilience workshops uh, for different groups, so for the general population, but also for organisations like the Bobby Goldsmith Foundation, to help people understand the role that exercise plays just in uh, the ability to respond to life's ups and downs as well. So the message of exercise your mood is not just for people who might be experiencing the symptoms of uh, mental illness, it's for people to be able to sort of prevent those and uh, live a positive, happy, happy life. And, um, what are the dates of exercise your mood week? Well, we've just missed it. Um, it, was the, uh, it was the 12th to the 18th of September, but it'll be on again uh, about the same, same time. So obviously, the dates change from, you know... The, and how many years have you been running it? This is our second year that we've run it, so we're, we're really excited about the, uh, the growth in the program, but there's plenty of room for people to get involved. And so, our next slide... Uh, so we've got some great ambassadors, so there's uh, great opportunities for organisations here in the world. But let's maybe move on to the... I, I lied about it being the second last slide. Oh, so I I sure. <laughs> so, could I just say, hang up if you are aware of Exercise Your Mood Week. Because okay, I must admit, I am hearing about it for the first time, that's not a criticism, but it, I guess let's all commit to playing our role in, in helping to promote this next year, just before we move on. Can people get materials from you to, to help promote it? That's right, we have, we have materials on our website, so we have a, a, a very well-equipped website, but also give us a call if your organisation is interested in being involved in a bigger way. We've got heaps of ideas. Uh, this year we ran a pedometer challenge, which uh, we walked as far as from Sydney to Perth collectively, which was a great achievement. So that there's plenty of room for us to walk uh, all around Australia and all over the world. So let's let's hope that we can keep building that year on year. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So we have a pedometer that you can download, so you promote that to people. The little black dog, you can uh, set your, uh, your targets, and the little black dog will walk along and bark encouragingly if you, um, if you slack off the pace a little bit. So that's, that's pretty exciting. That's free to download for people with uh, iPhone technology. Oh, and then there's one last little slide. Oh, yes. One last little slide. He's a liar. Oh, that's our phenomena challenge. Sorry, one more after this. <laughs> so this is, this is our little appeal to you today. We'd, we'd love to have your support for future Exercise Your Mood Weeks. We have, um, uh, we have training, obviously, for GPs who might be in the room or psychologists. Uh, we'd love to have organisations partner with us for future Exercise Your Mood. We do have a lot of resources and things that we can share with you. So thank you very much for your time uh, today. And thank you for coming.